Hey everybody, it's Brenda. How are you all doing today? Nice, beautiful, sunny day out today. I am here with my um, envelope journal. Absolutely love how it is turning out. And um, I did put a little, uh, a little more right here because of all this, you know, white plain. So, and I thought this went well with the Easter card that is in the front here. And this is a um, 19... 1912 Easter card. It's, it is the original and that fits right in this little pocket here. And I tuck it right underneath the um, <clears throat> spine cover here. So yes, I like, I love how that turned out there. So that is the journal that we're working on. And we are going to make some embellishments or some uh, embellished pockets and things like that for it today. So let me, I'm just going to put this out of the way for now. And I did need some pockets. So I started making uh, one of these pockets here. I just cut this out of some cardstock and I did the little punch right in the middle here. I just laid that in there about in the middle and did a punch. So I've got that. And I'll just set that aside for now. So here, I thought this little girl here was very Easter looking. So I picked her to go on the pocket here, but I did want a little something behind her. So just a little piece of something that can uh, put some color in the background and see how, I mean, I'm not going to, of course, cover up my little uh, decoration there. So if I put that there, this is one of my little uh, Rolodex cards that I embossed. So I thought that would make a cute little seat for her to sit on. So if I did something like this and then put her down here to sit on, I think I need that a little higher, but I want to take this little piece off there. Okay, let's see if I put that down right about there. To put her down, I mean the seat down and then her. Needs to go a little bit higher. So I think I will put that all the way down, but just... Uh, Make this so it's a little thinner. So, like that. So, let me glue that down. First of all. I hope you all are doing well this week. This will probably be my last video on this um, particular journal, and then I will um, do a flip through when I get done with it. There, put that there. Now, before I put her seat down, I wanted to do a little... Uh, coloring on that. So let me get my little makeup brushes. So I think I will do some pink. This is um, worn lipstick. I don't have very many uh, 
colors of distress inks, but I have enough just to do some different colors on this. And I just want to get the flowers in a pink tint and probably do the rest in just green. So I've got my flowers. And do my leaves. Just to give her some color under her tush. And what have I got? I don't have much for colors. I'll do the rest well um let's try a little bit of blue and see what that would look like just a little little tint this is um oh what's it called paisley looks like paisley background so that's pretty and then I'll just go ahead and do the rest in a real, really light tint blue. There, that's pretty, I like that. So that will be her seat. And we will glue that right down. Um, here's my glue. Onto our pocket. I'm using, uh, this is Tombow, Aqua Tombow glue. I love these little um, Rolodex cards there. And thank you, thank you, thank you to the uh, subby that told me what they were the last time I did the video. I could not for the life of me think what these uh little cards were called so she commented and um in parentheses she put rolodex cards and i said oh my goodness thank you thank you thank you i want to see how far down this oh yeah that'll be good so yeah thank you thank you thank you for uh, let me know what these were. Sometimes I just cannot think what these um, certain things are at the time that I'm making the video. I just can't think what they are. Okay, so she will go right there. I'm going to put her down. It looks like she was on something before. That's why she was sitting on my desk. I just um, picked her off my desk. And it looks like she's been glued down before. So we will definitely give her a new home in our new journal. Always get a lot of mess going with my glue. <sighs> there. Okay, I want a little something right here. Let's see if we have anything in here that would work. This is just a little tiny one here. Would 
have to go something like that though. Help it to look eastery, but um, I don't know what I would put there to make it a little more like it should be there. That's way too big. we have in here. What's this? That's a little one. Oh, that'll fit there. Perfect. Put that down. Oh, this glue. Keep thinking I'm going to get one of those covers that hold the glue upside down. So I don't have to fight every time. Oh, every time I want some glue. Okay. And let's see what else we can put. Maybe a little label at the top. If I can get one small enough. like they all have flowers on them. Ah, it's going the wrong way. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. That got way over here. <sighs> Put that right there. See what I mean? I have to wait forever for my glue to come down. And it's the same with my, um, it's the same with my Fabri-Tac. Oh my goodness, it drives me bonkers trying to uh, wait for these glues to do their job. anything in here that can fit below that. Let's see. Let's go with hmm. let's go with this one. right down here just to give that flower a little point to the bottom so it doesn't look like it's floating in space and that looks about 
right so where do we this i made um yesterday this is just a um it's one of those envelopes it's a tall skinny envelope can't i don't see where i have them now i thought i had them right here but anyway um what i did was fold up the bottom to make this pocket and then um this is stamped dictionary page and then i put our this we made together on um on one of my videos and i used that to put it the top pocket like so and then i put it in as a side tuck so i have this in the side tucked in so that was pretty much all to that and then I got to find a place I think I will do I want that here or yeah I think that's the best place for that pocket to go right here. Uh, and this, I think this is what I had to go in there. I think. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Oh, there it is. That's where I had it. I'm like, where did that come from? Okay, let me just stress around sides here on this pocket and we can put that right down and now I did want to um, add a couple uh, more things that I already had made and I will show you those in a second here. Get this pocket down. Right here. This glue, whenever you um, set something down with this glue, it... Uh, rides all over the place on the paper so you have to be very careful that you don't uh get it in a um in the wrong position for it to dry it just slides i do have this i don't know if it'll fit i think oh yeah that's way too big uh, way too big um let's see if i have it oh i have this too that might be pretty this is um the uh index card with the piece of lace and the little crinkled embellishment here with a uh little butterfly and the bulb pin and that's just uh, you know lift up and have some writing there Now, I don't know if that's going to fit you. Oh, it might. Oops. Well, I know one thing. It's not dry yet, so we'll have to wait on that. So this over the page, uh, this is an envelope folded in half, and that goes over the page, and we did that together on a video. I think I'll have to let this dry before I try to do anything with this pocket. So let's see if there is, that might go over this page. Let me check, see if it will fit okay. Oh, that's cute there with the little bunny. Let's just look some more and see where else it may fit. 
Oh, these colors are pretty. If it will fit there. There we go. Maybe that would be a better place because it is, um, it goes well with these colors and it's kind of a plain, um, just looking for a paper clip here. It's kind of a plain Jane paper right there. And I will make a cup. We'll see what it looks like on this side. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yes, I like it there. And I will make a couple of little cards to go in. Slide it over just a little bit more. Okay, I like that there. And then we have... We have this pocket, but I think that's going to be, unless it fits here, which it will fit there perfect. I was going to say, I think it will be a little uh, too big. These we uh, these we made together. Uh, this is a vellum uh, piece in between the book page pocket. And then it just has a... Uh, Cut out on the on the back so that would fit there good and then I have to make something for that so let's go ahead and put this down it is so nice to have some things made ahead of time so you can um, just pick and choose and Get your embellishments down. That will go there. And I'll have to make a card for that. That's sliding on me. Oh, she would look cute in there. Wouldn't she be cute? Oh, I'll have to make a little card out of her. She's adorable. Oh, goodness. <sighs> Got glue leaking all over the place here. Sometimes this glue is very stubborn and just doesn't want to stick. Take care of these, get these out of the way. There, I think it's down. Let's take her. get all this mess out of my way get my cutter and see if we can make her into a cute little journaling card oh she's adorable just going to cut right above the, actually, let me see here. Yeah, I want to cut some of that off, definitely, right about there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see if I got something to back her with. Uh, 
use some file folder. Way too much stuff on my desk. I so need some more room. Okay, let's glue her down. What a little cutie she is. right there. And I think I will just uh, round the corners on this one. Just make a cute little journaling card to write on the back. These uh, papers that I'm using are from Roxy Creations, um, one of her Easter kits, which all of them are absolutely beautiful. There we go. I think I'm coming down with, I don't know what. I don't know if it's allergies or... Um, cold or what it may be. And I guess you never know today. So much mess going around. Here we go. I think I need something right here at the bottom. big, I think. Is that the same size? I think it is. I guess those are all the same size. Let's see. don't really want flowers. don't like that. Blends in too much. That's another flower. This blue one. That's pretty. Let's see. This one. Ooh, that's big. That's huge. There's a smaller one. don't want more flowers. Check one more. Is that the same one? Yeah, flowers. I think that will blend in too much. Yeah. Oh, decisions, decisions. How about something green? It's not huge. Nope. Got these blues. Well, oh, there's a blue one of these. Oh, I like that. That'll do. A lot of them go the other way. Ooh, this is pretty too. 
there's another blue. If I can get it out. I think I like that better. Okay, so this goes there. Oh, there's another blue. Nah, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> Make up your mind. Just do it. Where did I get this from? Don't remember. Here, I think it was. Okay. Okay. Let's get the curl out of our journaling card and we will put this down this out of the way okay i can't put it up there so it's gonna have to go down here and i put it on the side because i didn't want to cover up those little doodad stamps and stuff there Just cut the top. Give that a little distressing. And then you have a cute little journaling card. Very, very tall and cute. That will go right in there. Oh, liking that. Very pretty. Okay. Now I have um I have this, which is another pocket that was made from a uh, envelope. Just took the side of the envelope with the window was and cut it down to size of a pocket and on the inside I put some dried flowers and a little butterfly so I thought that was a little eastery looking if I could find a place that it would fit which right there would be awesome and I like that with the leaves and everything there. So let's put this, got lots of strings hanging. Let's put this down right here and give that some color. Very poor uh, <laughs> uh, sewing job on this one. But I don't think it's me. I think it's the machine. Sometimes it works very well and other times it just don't like sewing on certain papers and thicknesses. Here we go. I'm glad I'm finding places for these to fit because I was thinking that maybe my papers would be a little too small. I think that would be, yeah, that's too big. I think I would just put, put use this as a, uh, just a page, uh, putting on a page and use it as a side tuck or something like that for that one. This probably won't fit in there either. Might. But it's kind of it's kind of blends in with the background, so no, I don't think I would use that. What have I got left here that might make a She 
she's cute. Like the bird, but it would be down too far. So let's see what else we have. These are just some leftover papers that I had. That would go well as the background. Let's see what we can do with this. Just make a little tag or something to go right there. just be the background and then we'll have to decorate it up what do I want like three inches three and a half with something. Let's see what we got here. Right on there. Actually, I think I will do a book page first because that will give it a little more thickness. So what I normally do with um, backing things is I will usually back it immediately with book page. And then stick something writable on the back side after the book page. And I just use my glue book. Good way to um, use up your book pages and um, makes a good sturdiness for your tags and your um, journal cards or whatever you're making. So we will do that and then put it right down there. Double your strength. but I always forget to use it and it does an excellent job. Okay, I think I will just do this into a 
tag shape. Got my little tag corner cheater. Oh, sorry, I just can't breathe well. There we go. And uh, do that. Put this away. Now, what do we want to put on this? I'm thinking maybe a nice pretty flower. Oh, let's see here. What's this one? Not big enough. What's this one? No. Do I have anything that's a little bigger? Got some more stuff back here somewhere. I thought. Uh, here we go. Oh, these are, <laughs> I go from one extreme to the other. These are huge. I think these might be too big. Oh, way big. <sighs> big. Yep. Darn. Nothing very tall. Okay. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, I don't think I have anything that I can cut out. not look too bad. Let's see what that will look like. Just do a quick fussy cut. That's definitely tall enough. I put that there. Let's see what I got to dress it up a little. Way too big.
that will be pretty. But I do have to cut around. I don't like all the white that it has around the um, the outside of the butterfly wings. I always cut these down just a little more. This little area here and here. Oh, sorry, that was loud. I will put her about right in the middle. Uh, come on. Sorry, I was probably off screen. Definitely going to invest in something that holds my bottles upside down. And I think I will put her about right there. And distress. I don't think I want anything behind this plant because it is very um, neutral in itself and I'm afraid if I put anything neutral behind it'll just get lost in the in the um, whatever I put behind so I'm going to just try putting it down like so and I think that um, I think that shows very well like that, my opinion. So let's glue this down. And see I do like that though. So um Hint, if you ever need a embellishment and you don't have the right uh, certain thing that you are looking for, check your journaling pages. You might just find it there. I like that. Of course, we need a label. Of course, we need a label. <sighs> I always go for this one. For some reason, I like it, but it's usually too big, just like the case here. Too big. I really don't want it on the bottom. I'd like to have something right on the top here. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Let me just 
just one more place to look. Let's see what we have here. That goes the wrong way. Too big. Wrong way. I think that is going to be what we need. Alrighty. I will put that right here. Got a nice writing spot on the back and slides right in here. Oops. Didn't quite get the wing down. There we go. So this is um, something that I was going to put this. Um, oh, gosh, I'm not sure when we made this now. It's been quite a while. This was in my stash. So and I was going to put this down as a side tuck. So that would go right there. And I think that was all that, um, I mean, I did want to make this, I, I'm going to make this into a, just a journaling, I mean, just a background sort of tuck, maybe a side tuck, maybe I'll put it down and be a top tuck. So I think I will put that on that page. Or maybe this page and I still have oh and this uh, we were thinking about something to put there this is what I wanted to put there but I'm going to put a little background on him and I think that'll be it as far as um, working with you guys um, on this journal. I think I will finish it up off camera and then at the end I will uh, give you a flip through. So I am going to let you guys go and probably go and take some kind of uh, medicine that I can breathe. <laughs> Help me breathe. This will probably, I might just... Uh, if I use this, I might just clip it on somewhere. So other than that, I think I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Um, sorry about the sniffles. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm going to take some medicine to stop it. It's driving me crazy. So uh, you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. Um, and uh, any questions that you have, just comment. I will gladly get right back to you. And um, thank you all so much for your comments and your um, subscribing. And I hope you have a blessed rest of the week. Bye-bye, everybody.